here's another proof. We're given that AC, okay, that's this segment, AC bisects angle BAD, bisects this angle. And obviously that means that those two angles have to be equal. And we're, we're trying to prove that AD, this piece here, is greater than CD. Okay, AD is greater than CD. Now it certainly looks in the picture like AD is greater than CD, but we can't just say AD is greater than CD because it looks that way, because the diagram might be drawn inaccurately. And, and a lot of times on standardized tests, the diagrams are deliberately drawn inaccurately because you want to be able to reason from the given information to a conclusion. And on a standardized test, that's what they are testing. They are testing your ability to reason. And so you don't want to just give an answer based on how it looks, because sometimes the looks can be deceiving. You want to demonstrate the correct reasoning. And that's one of the main points of doing proofs, is to demonstrate correct logical reasoning. And so in this case, we're going to logically prove this from the given information. All right, let's think about our plan of attack here. Well, if AC bisects angle BAD, then these two angles have to be the same. Okay, now look down here at angle 3. Angle 3 is an exterior angle for this triangle. And an exterior angle is always greater than either remote interior angle, so angle 3 here has to be bigger than angle 1. And if angle 1 and angle 2 are equal, then angle 3 must also be bigger than angle 2. So angle 3 is bigger than angle 2. That means that the side opposite angle 3 over here must be larger than the side opposite angle 2 over there. So that means that AC must be bigger than CD. And there we have it. I'll spell those steps out in a, in a two-column proof with statements and reasons. And again, a good place to start, if you don't know where to start, start by simply stating your given information. So I'm going to say AC bisects angle BAD. So in, in the left column here I have a statement, and in the right column here I have a reason. The reason I know that statement is true, and in this case I know that's true, simply because it's given. Okay, then a good thing to write next would be something that logically follows from this statement. So what follows from the fact that this segment bisects this angle? Well, what logically follows from that is that those two angles are equal. So that'll be my next step. Angle 1 equals angle 2. And that's true because the word bisect means to split something into two equal parts. So this is this the reason I know this is true is because of the definition of bisect. The definition of bisect. Okay, then 3, we said that this angle down here, angle 3, has to be larger than angle 1 because angle 3 is an exterior angle. And the exterior angle theorem says that an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than either remote interior angle. So I'll say that angle 3 is greater than angle 1, and that's based on the exterior angle theorem the exterior angle theorem. And then step four. Well, if angle three right here is greater than angle one, and angle one and angle two are equal, then angle three must be greater than angle two. And that's just simple substitution. See, angle 3 is greater than angle 1, but since angle 1 and angle 2 are equal, I can substitute that in right there, and that gives me this. Angle 3 is greater than angle 2. So I had to have these two steps in here before I could state that. That's because this step here, step 4, logically depends on step 2 and 3 being established.
And then step five, my last step in this case, I can say that AD is greater than CD. Your last step is typically a statement of the thing that you're trying to prove or the, the fact that you're, try, that, that you're trying to prove. And the reason AD is greater than CD, this logically follows from the step right before. Angle three is greater than angle two, and so the side opposite angle three, that's AD, must be bigger than the side opposite angle two, that's CD. And I'm going to write for the reason here, I'll write larger angle is opposite, Wait, that should be larger, larger angle is opposite the larger side.